Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're uh, jumping into something really hot right now, landing that AI product manager role. Yeah, it's a huge field, exploding, really. Totally. And it's not just, you know, about adding AI to a job title. It's fundamentally changing how products get built, how they work. So if you're listening and aiming for that kind of role, well, you're definitely in the right place. Absolutely. And it's that blend, isn't it? Product sense plus uh, a, a real grasp of what AI can do. We're not talking about just features anymore. It's about creating products that are actually driven by data, by models to get you know tangible results. And that's where the AI product management framework comes in, right? We'll be using that as our guide today. Exactly. It gives us a structure. So our mission for this deep dive is pretty straightforward. If you're putting together a cover letter, maybe talking to your manager about moving into this space or prepping for that first phone screen. That crucial first call. All right. We want to give you concrete tips. What should you highlight? How do you talk about the value you bring using this framework as your sort of uh, foundation? It really is a unique mix of skills needed. You need enough technical understand, not deep AI research, but enough to talk intelligently with the tech folks. Mm -hmm. Then the strategic side, how does AI actually solve a business problem? And critically, leadership, communication, working with all sorts of different teams. Okay, let's get practical. That first step, the cover letter, or maybe those initial chats with your current manager. Yeah. How do you start showing you get this AI PM stuff right off the bat? Well, I think the key is not to just dump the framework terms, but to subtly weave in that you understand its core parts, foundation, strategy, discovery, delivery. It shows you see the whole picture. Okay, so let's break that down. Foundation. What does that mean in practice for a cover letter or that initial chat? What should you hint at? It's about showing you understand the basics of how good AI products get built. Maybe mentioning the product operating model, just mm. showing... You know, it's about delivering stuff that's valuable, usable, feasible, and viable. Okay. And uh, crucially, the team. Recognizing the roles, you know, product leadership setting the vision, the PM owning the why, mm. the data scientist kind of being the product designer for the AI part, and the tech lead making sure it can actually be built. Got it. So demonstrating awareness of the team structure and those core goals, valuable, usable, feasible, viable. Hmm. Okay, how about strategy? How do you sprinkle that in early on? Uh, strategy. Really? This is where you show broader thinking. You could maybe allude to the principles, like the importance of focus, knowing which problems are really worth solving with AI. Right, prioritization. Exactly. And mentioning data-driven insights, showing you rely on data, not just gut feeling, maybe a nod to transparency and how the team works, or even the idea of placing bets, acknowledging that AI involves some smart risks. It shows you're thinking business value, not just tech features. I like that placing bets. Mm -hmm. It acknowledges the uncertainty. Okay, what about discovery? How do you signal you understand that phase. Discovery is huge in AI. You could mention the need to really validate the problem first. Don't just jump to a solution. And highlighting risk assessment may be subtly mentioning that AI has unique feasibility risks. Like model accuracy or data availability? Precisely. Things like precision, recall, F1 score. You don't need to define them, but showing awareness that these feasibility factors exist for AI is key. And uh, mentioning rapid experimentation, testing ideas fast. And the last piece, delivery. Yep. How does that fit into an initial pitch? Just briefly. Show you're aware it needs to get built and maintained. Mentioning things like small, frequent releases, CICD concepts, or just a basic understanding of MLOps, you know, deploying, monitoring, retraining models. It shows you're thinking end to end. Okay, so it's about weaving these concepts, foundation, strategy, discovery, delivery into your narrative, using examples maybe to show a structured approach even in that first contact. Now, shifting gears, the phone screen, much less time. Right. What's the priority? Be sharp, be concise. You need to quickly show you've grasped the core ideas from the framework. Don't try to boil the ocean. Pick one or two areas where your background really shines through. So what areas are usually good bets for a phone screen example? I think strategy or discovery often work well. For strategy, maybe a quick example of how you'd prioritize AI opportunities based on business impact or data. Okay. For discovery, maybe how you'd validate a problem that AI could potentially solve or how you'd think about a feasibility risk. And importantly, mention collaborating with data scientists and tech leads on that. Right. Emphasizing that teamwork aspect even in a short call. How else do you convey that collaboration piece quickly? Well, when you give your example, you can explicitly mention the roles. Like, as the PM, I'd focus on the why for the user, then work with the data scientist on how the model could work, and the tech lead on whether we can actually build and scale it. 
it paints a picture of teamwork for value, feasibility, viability. Makes sense. Any other key messages to try and land in that brief phone screen? Yeah, maybe touch on the iterative nature of it all. AI isn't usually a one and done thing. Show you understand it's about learning and refining. Continuous improvement. Exactly. And enthusiasm. Show you're genuinely interested in this fast moving field. And, you know, if it comes up naturally, maybe a quick mention of responsible AI or ethical considerations shows maturity. And what about questions from the candidate? What should someone ask the interviewer? Oh, definitely ask questions good ones. It shows you're engaged and you understand the challenges. You could ask about their approach to MLOps, maybe, or how they handle data governance for AI projects. Questions like that show you're thinking practically about making AI work in the real world. That's super helpful for the phone screen. Mm. Okay, let's get to the heart of it. Let's say you're in the interview loop or even discussing a promotion. How do you clearly explain the value you bring using the AI product management framework to structure that explanation? Right, this is where you really connect the dots for them. You use the framework foundation, strategy, discovery, delivery as the scaffolding for your value proposition. Okay, walk us through it, starting with foundation. How do you frame your value there? You explain that the framework gives you a solid, structured way to approach AI product management. Start by saying you understand the foundation elements are crucial building blocks. So, like the product operating model. Exactly. Highlight you get how that model focuses everyone on delivering measurable outcomes, how the different roles work together, product leadership, PM, data scientist as product designer, tech lead, show you know who does what and why it matters for value. And the technical understanding piece. Yeah, mention your grasp of core AML concepts, maybe general areas like supervised versus unsupervised learning, or what generative AI is good for, like text or image generation. Not claiming to be an expert, but showing you can talk the talk with the technical team. And uh, understanding the basic data science workflow helps align product dev with data needs. Okay, that lays the groundwork. How do you articulate your value when it comes to strategy? Here you focus on impact. Explain you use the strategic principles to define a clear path. Talk about your ability to focus on the problems that really move the needle for the business. Aligning AI with objectives. Precisely. Emphasize your commitment to using data-driven insights for decisions, promoting transparency so everyone's aligned, and being willing to make smart, calculated bets on promising AI approaches to get ahead. It's about showing you drive direction. Makes sense. Moving to discovery, how do you frame your value in that often messy phase? You explain that your rigorous approach to discovery, guided by the framework, ensures you don't waste time building the wrong thing. Highlight your focus on validating problems first. Be risking early. Absolutely. Emphas assessing all those risks, value, usability, feasibility, mentioning again those AI-specific things like model performance metrics, data needs, infrastructure. Point out how you'd work with data scientists here. And stress your belief in rapid experimentation, testing hypotheses quickly, learning, iterating, maybe even a nod to responsible testing and ethical checks. Got it. And finally, delivery. How do you demonstrate your value in getting the product out the door and keeping it running? You describe your understanding of the whole life cycle. Talk about efficient engineering small releases, CICD for agility. Highlight the critical need for continuous monitoring of models in production. Watching for that performance drift. Exactly. Mentioning key metrics, detecting drift. And crucially, explain you understand the need for MLOBs having processes for retraining models to keep them accurate and relevant as the world changes. It shows you think about sustainable value, not just launch day. Wow. Okay, so by using those four pillars, foundation, strategy, discovery, delivery, as your structure, you're effectively mapping your skills and approach directly onto the requirements of a successful AI PM. That's the idea. Yeah. You're showing them, look, I understand the complexities of AI product development, and I have a proven framework to navigate it effectively. Uh. You're demonstrating you can deliver AI products that aren't just cool tech, but are valuable, feasible, viable, and actually produce results. That's the value you bring. This has been incredibly insightful, seriously practical advice for anyone looking to make that leap into AI product management. It's so clear that really understanding and being able to articulate the AI product management framework is, well, fundamental. It really is. It's more than just jargon. It's a toolkit. If you internalize these ideas and use them to frame your experience and your approach in your cover letter in interviews, you'll definitely stand out. It equips you to have the right conversations and showcase your potential confidently. Absolutely. You can tackle this job search with a clear plan. And thinking bigger picture, 
AI isn't slowing down. The need for skilled AI product managers who can bridge that gap between the technology and real-world value is only going to grow. It's an exciting time to be stepping into this field. Couldn't agree more. It's a chance to really shape how this technology impacts the world. So we really encourage you, the listener, to take these insights, maybe dig deeper with resources like the AI Product Management Grow Your Career course, and go for it. Be part of that transformation. Thanks so much for joining us on The Deep Dive.